Here's another renal corpuscle model, but we're going to see a lot more features of the urinary system on this total model. So again, afferent arterial bringing blood in to the glomerulus. The blood is filtered into a filtrate, which will leave through the proximal convoluted tubule, and the blood that did not get filtered into this space leaves through the efferent arterial. Everything comes back. The distal convoluted tubule is here, and the macula densa cells are around there with some juxtaglomerular cells here. So we look at the different side of that. Here's our renal corpuscle, and the proximal convoluted tubule is leaving in yellow, heading into the loop of Henle, which is here. So we've got our descending limb and then the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. In white, the ascending limb turns into the distal convoluted tubule and part of that comes back over here. So this is our macula densa. And then flipping the model around we can see multiple renal corpuscles, multiple proximal convoluted tubules and distal convoluted tubules, and loops of Henle. So here's an example of just a cortical nephron, and then here is a juxtamedullary nephron, and then an even deeper juxtamedullary nephron. After the distal convoluted tubule, the Filtrate, which is now going to be urine, goes into the collecting duct. So this is an, a collecting duct, which is going down the renal pyramid, this shape right here. And then off to the side of the renal pyramid is a renal column. Also on this side, the efferent arterial is going to come down and provide this capillary bed around the loop of Henle, which is the vasa recta. So if we take a look at the other side of the model, here's the renal pyramid in this darker pink color, and the renal column separates renal pyramids. The collecting ducts are going to merge together and drain into a minor calyx, which is at the tip of the pyramid and minor calyces will join into major calyces. There's about two to three major calyces per kidney. And then the major calyces will drain into one renal pelvis, which then drains into the ureter on its way to the urinary bladder.